And most of the populace will actually happily go along with it. They, they will always find terrorism on demand. If we debunk the Iraq myth or the 9-11 stuff or whatever, there will always be something new. That's, that's basically the, their basic... I, I, still, I still think it's worthwhile yeah. to, to keep pointing out that these are myths. And I, I, I you, you can make a really funny story about 9-11, how 19 Muslim fundamentalists that apparently like lap dances because they visited Las Vegas all the time were somehow able to defeat the entire U.S. air defense with box cutters. I mean, this is a funny story if you look at it like this way. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, so I, I really have to have to say that the lady was quite correct. I think it's a construction between we and they, and I think this construction does not work out. Only it does only work out if you really want this construction. So I think there's there's this uh, this as Steini pointed out. There's there's it's it's always a mixture between we and they, on the one hand. And the next point is here. Uh, we have to talk about consciousness. It's about consciousness of the people. And uh, for example, we are the kind of top of the top here. And uh, the discussion we had in the last few years about photo taking photographs here is really weak. It's a weak discussion and it was slightly going on, but nowadays it's just established. And I'm pretty sure that the war which will be or the, the, the battles which will be lost over and over again in the next few years will be, this war will also change with our consciousness behind it. And I'm very sorry that, that you were talking mostly about kind of technologies and about a kind of, uh, uh, a kind of battle which was a kind of uh, 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 taking one step further and one ste uh, step back on the other side. It's, for me, it's a question about consciousness. And I, I'm, I, I'm, I really, uh, this is, this fails, or this, this is uh, not uh, matched in this discussion here. I'm, uh, I feel sorry about this. Um, uh, okay. I, just, I just want to add one, one thing to that. Um, we have a number of, let's say, hard points that we used to defend over the years. And some of them has, we have simply, even if we would want them to be true, we simply cannot do it anymore. And insisting on them borders on fundamentalism. So, and that is something, if you're, for instance, there are people around here that always wanted to be mailbox systems or to be our communication system. And they got overrun by the internet. And we need to be very careful that this, this is not happening again to us. So that we are basically up to what the technology takes on and where we are going the technology wise and to simply accept at some point that we cannot stop the train of technology, we can just try to direct it somehow. And so fighting yesterday's battle under the, the label of consciousness, I don't know if that really is productive on that. The thing, the thing is, um, if people fighting nuclear transports or if people uh, uh, doing activism in a, think, in a way that I think is meaningful, tell me that they are beginning to feel the force of, of interception, that they're beginning to feel the force of traffic analysis, that they're beginning to feel that our generation is, is gaining power in the intelligence community, that they're no longer dealing with this guy in the dark coat that comes to meetings, but that they're dealing with high tech in, in, in foiling what they're trying to do. Then for me, that's not a, a, a question of consciousness. That's just a real strategic issue. That, that we need to deal with. And, and, and I'm sorry if that's all about technology. For me, that's just a matter of living in the world of today and, and facing the challenges that we face. I, yeah. <laughs> ah, there. Yeah. Uh, I hope this is working. I, I, I think we are doing the same mistakes again. We are talking about technology and we are talking about fun. I think, in my opinion, more important is that we have to talk to the ordinary John or Jane Doe, people who don't understand technology, like my brother, and we have to explain what's happening in their language, not in our language. That's a problem. Then, otherwise, it's a discussion that we are doing together, but we have to broaden our knowledge, and that means we have to change our language. Okay. I think, I think we should identify our profit centers and focus on core business, and that is talking about technology and fun, because that's what we do really well. 
And <laughs> respectfully, if I might, I but think but um, it doesn't work. It didn't work. So we have to change something. I would not say that it didn't work. So if you look at Germany, for instance, we managed to keep Germany, at least from a European perspective, uh, in a state where there are at least privacy laws, where there are mm -hmm. protections for encryption, where there are possibilities to do stuff that are not possible in other countries. For instance, we can still re-engineer stuff here in Germany. And so I would not say that it has not worked. So it is true that we are basically at the end of our wits in some of these cases because the forces on the other side are simply too strong. But uh, I agree we need to talk to more people and we need to work on our, for instance, media stuff so that we reach more people. You're precisely correct on that. I come from a, from a situation where we're talking the language of Jane and John Doe uh, is a little bit of a dangerous issue. Because I, I come from a situation where the vast majority, possibly as many as 75% of the people, want more repression. They're petitioning the government to give them the boot in the neck faster. Uh, and harder. And harder. Uh, why is it that we still have any freedom? Doesn't the government realize? Doesn't the minister know that terrorists and criminals are using these freedoms, abusing them? Why is there still this crazy concept, concept of constitution? So we have to accept, or at least me coming from the Netherlands, I have to accept that I am the, major, the minority. I am the minority that still cares about these things. There's plenty of other people, but we are a minority. And I'm not sure whether that's true in here in Germany. I hope not, but it could well be. So go, see a microphone, please. I, I, I if, um, yes, if I may. This guy was. Yeah. You're talking about people who want more security. You're talking about the powerful political powers that be. But I think that one key thing which we have failed to do is to make the people who elect the powerful um, Senate, the powerful whatever, realize that you are not really in danger. You who live in a town of 1,000 people and are one of the most afraid people of terrorism in the world are not in danger and that what is coming in terms of technological changes is far more dangerous. And we need a way to say that in a clear manner, not just privacy policies and you know, 1984, go read the book. We need a way that people can understand that danger is coming. Absolutely. Um, the, the angel here around me said that I'm, I would be next. Uh, I, I agree with the last war issue, and I think that it is Im embedded in an even bigger, much bigger context where people's interests are being betrayed by politicians which care most about uh, global corporate interests. And we know that the situation in, in Germany is especially, already especially critical due to the high unemployment level. And um, people are also more and more distrusting um, of all parties. And um, you have said it, what happened in the Netherlands and how um, right-wing uh, parties got support by, by this. Um, so uh, shall, we found a, if, if, um, shall we create a CCC party? Of course not with, with that uh, name, but uh, uh, I mean, no. I we don't know what, what, what can happen in, in the future, and if someone mm. would like to talk a bit more about this, um, I would be here in, in front. Thank you. So um, my personal opinion on this is that um, hackers as a cultural group are politically quite diverse. So they are, even if you're talking about non-Euclidean politics, uh, we have about this spectrum of opinions, and so I think what we should focus on is providing the tools to people who try to do political change. So each of us might have his political ideas and his political activism, and what we are calling for is providing the tools, providing the knowledge, enabling change. So, and that's, that's basically the, the, the core message here. So having something like a CCC party is something that I consider a bit strange, but okay. Was kind of ironical, but what do you think about uh, this in the Demons Netherlands support. context? Um, my personal thoughts are the country is screwed, it's fucked, it's... Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, uh, the Netherlands uh, uh, may be a real good country to live again, again 15 years from now, is my personal opinion. It's, it's very interesting, it's like living in a laboratory, because uh, 
we are seeing a lot of the technologies which will be seen all over Europe. We're seeing them early, and we're seeing them deployed in a country that doesn't ask too many questions. So it's, it's, it's like living in, in, a, in a laboratory. Um, I want to pass the final word to, to Fefe and then close it off because we're already too late. Um, yeah, several things. The first thing is that I think our biggest mistake is that we don't play to our strength, but we, we meet and have fun and talk about this and that, but we need to realize, first of all, we are the few people who actually understand the technology. So we need to use that and communicate that, but not to the people directly, but to the media. Um, in Germany, we had the, the good... Um, we are the media. Yeah, no, not, not directly. The, the census, which was one of the watersheds in, in German law against... Um, data collection and retention was um, basically the media running rampant and most of the technology that's happening and that's um, going against our civil rights is not happening to minimize the civil rights but it's happening and then the effect is to minimize civil rights. Most of the the things we can see in, in this, the talks at the Congress was actually something of like like subvention uh, or industry förderung. So basically, they had some money to spend to make the the industry better, and we weren't there to present our part, our com our companies to invest in. So they invested in the companies that were there, and those companies had biometrics. So the next time they have money to spend, please go there with crypto phone and. Yeah, and this is one thing I wanted to already add to Fife's um, talk before then, we're fighting the war. You said, we ha do we have hope left? We're fighting the war differently than we should. We should not take defensive action or fight symptoms. We should have a concept how to do it otherwise and represent the concept offensively so we can change some things in the future. And the last thing I wanted to like to annotate is that about the we and they problem. Look at the problem of the people who grown up with Horkheimer and Adorno and believed in freedom and that look where the people sit now and where these things, how these things ended up. And you will see that I hope we don't change the way they did and we stay in our moral beliefs. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's... I think... Okay, Ani, what's now? I think that there's a problem that people can be bought. So everyone who knows something about technology will be bought by the industry. Okay, and but, but, but the point is, if we need to identify an enemy, because that's more easy, they are the security advisors of the people in power. So it would be a good thing if we would be them, but the point is, then we need to be maybe even more proactive in supporting security concepts without surveillance. I mean, maybe we should be more security advisoring in this respect. In as an alternative interesting suggestions to, all As an alternative to see all these um, Machiavellic, Darwinistic assholes providing fascism with technology as a business. So. Okay, we really gotta wrap it up because we're late. Thank you very much and bye-bye.